Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to How to Play That Song with me, Majozi. I am super excited. I've wanted to do this for a long time and I know a lot of people have messaged me about this. So now I'm doing it. Yay! <laughs> um, the first song we're going to learn today is uh, one of my favorites, one of my personal favorites, Darling. Um, I have done this before, but I only did the left hand technique. So today I'm going to show you the left hand and the right hand technique because I got a lot of messages from people wanting the right hand technique so um it's uh, it's a lot of fun so i hope you enjoy it and if you do please subscribe click on the bell and uh, you will find out when the next video comes out i'm gonna try and do this as much as i can and we're just gonna have fun with it and hopefully it'll be easy for you to learn and um it'll be fun for me to do and we can connect some more so i'm just gonna play it uh, i'm gonna play the intro once for you um just through so you can hear what it kind of sounds sounds like and then we're gonna break it down from there So the first chords are E minor, C, and G. That's what you've got to remember in the intro. It's E minor, C, and G. Now this is the picking pattern, so you can listen through. Tuning is in standard tuning, which is E, A, D, G, B, E. Now the thing you got to remember is is to keep those shapes in mind: the E minor, the C, and the G. Or that's how I would play it in the song: so E minor, C, and the G. So if you keep those shapes in mind, it makes it a lot easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is learn the run. Um, into the progression so it's open string B check out my right finger and then pinky on the third fret or whatever finger you feel comfortable with to be honest pinky on the third fret on the B string and then open higher E so that's so that one open so open string B third string B open string E, da, da, da. Now, what you want to do is you want to get this sound. Now, that is the open string on the, the, the lower string, open E, and then open string B, and then open string higher E. So check out my right hand thumb that other finger and this finger I wish I could remember what those fingers are called but that's it easy so see so if you were doing it in the E shape your fingers would kind of be well E minor sorry your fingers would be there ready but you don't have to worry too much about the other fingers I actually don't need to worry about any of these fingers but I like to do it just because I do stuff in between but for now it's just And now we go into the next one and you get your finger into a C shape. So it's did you hear that? So all you do is get your finger into a C shape, you play your third string uh, uh, on your sorry your third fret on your A string, and then your pinky is down on the third fret on your um, your higher E. So it's and and also it's on the B string for uh, on your on the B string on the first fret. So it's those all those three together. And for the next thing, all you have to do is take the pinky off. So you get. So let's play that together. Hope you can see my right hand. Get into 
your G shape here. Pretty good. So all you do, G shape, put your finger on your on the on your uh, on your E third fret, and then also on the third fret for the B string, and then you've got to open G here, open G string. to do is play those together like the other ones and then get rid of your pinky and just play the open B so it's okay all good good so for the second time around you just stop on the on the first notes for the G string so the first time goes like this so when you take your pinky off there on the G string but for the second time around you just go G. fun so let's do that one more time from the beginning and I'll just kind of hum along da, da, da. got it pretty good so now if you want to be fancy you can do little things in between whatever you like so this is normally what I like to do to do is make sure that your fingers are still playing are uh, still in the shapes of those chords at least because you want to try um, and be able to mess around and I mean even if you play a wrong note it will generally sound uh, okay or pretty good or fancy or whatever you want to call it so yeah I'll look at doing that and just make it your own and have, and have some fun with it Now I am going to Now I'm going to show you how to play the chorus. Um, you can do anything you want to hear in the chorus like I don't like to tell people what to do here um, because I just do it differently um, every time I play it to be honest. So I'm just going to strum the chords for you so you can see what they are. Um, so it's C and I've just got my pinky down but you don't have to have it down. G, however you play G, and then D, and then E minor, good, and then again, C, G, and this time we just stop on the D, and then we go back to C, G, B major 7, that's a bit of a different chord, so in case you don't know what it is it's um on the a string second fret d string first fret g string third fret uh open e open b sorry and then second fret e so it's I always like to put my finger by my pinky. Don't ask me why. Put my pinky down, sorry. So you can play E minor like this or, or whatever you feel like. And then C, G, and D. And that's how you end the chorus. You've got it. So let's do that again together. So it's pretty simple. Start and I'll sing. One, two, three, go. Because you can call me baby.
strumming. Cause you can call me babe and I'll call you darling. And if that's alright with you, it's fine by me. And I will play guitar and you can try. To, oh, that's not right. Try to sing. <laughs> Now we are going to learn how to play the verse, the verses. So I'm going to teach you how to play the chords first. This is what I play at least. So it's G. And then C, G. I just like to keep my fingers down here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a, a, a cheat code <laughs> just for easy transitions. But you can, if you want to. You can go do the full C, or you can do the G over C. So it goes, All my life I've been searching for your love. Only to find it's been staring right in. And now we go to, I think this is a F over G, no idea. Second fret E, open A, so open A, open D, and then we've got uh, the on the G string, second finger, uh, second finger on the second fret on the G string. And then these three here are, these two, sorry, on the B and the E. So it's G, F sharp over G, and then E minor, C, uh, B major 7, sorry, C, and then G. And then the little, little sparkle here, um, excuse me, sparkle is... Let's do that from the beginning. So it's G G G G G G G G G G C G G G G G G G F sharp F sharp over G and then E minor and then B major seven C G and then E C G. Simple. So what I like to do is I like to pick that little part. So it's something like All my life I've been searching for your love Only to find it's been staring right in front of me Right where I could see But you don't have to pick it. You can strum it or pick it in another pattern, however you like to do it, whatever is easiest and funnest for you, you do that. Thank you so much, everybody. That was really exciting. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had fun. And if you're struggling, just remember the chords while you're picking, especially for the intro. It's just E minor, C, and G. So keep those shapes in mind and have a lot of fun. Do what makes what makes you comfortable. Play however it makes you comfortable. And yeah, just enjoy the process. And if you like the video, please subscribe and click on the bell. And hopefully soon another video will come out. And if you have any suggestions for more videos of what songs you would like, perhaps of mine, that you want to hear like Fire or Waiting or The Words or I'll Ask Goodbye, whatever you want to hear, please put it down in the comment section and I will try and get a video done for you. Thank you so much, guys.